Hey guys, this is Haley from MonoRabbits.com and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Mocha's health. So I thought I would just go over all of the medications he is currently taking and why he is taking them, how long he is going to have to take them for, and stuff like that. So the first medication I'm going to be talking about is his contacts. Now I don't know if you guys have heard me mention this before, but my rabbit does use contacts. Now if you're wondering why, pretty much he has chronic cornea ulcers, which if you don't know what a cornea ulcer is, I don't really know either, but it's just like an ulcer on the eyeball that causes like a lot of pain and discomfort. So because of that, we had tried all different types of antibiotics like creams and drops and nothing was working. So we figured out that he has something that's just chronic, which means it won't go away. Uh, so we had to find something to manage the pain and manage the cornea ulcer. And what we found was that contacts really help. So the contacts do not have any prescription in them, which means it doesn't help him see better. It's pretty much just like a clear bandage that goes over the top of his eye. It just protects him from the air and everything that irritates his eye, and it helps him be able to use them. Because before contacts, he would just squint or close his eyes all the time, and then he'd like run into things. So yeah, that is why he gets contacts, and I have to replace them every two weeks. So one box comes with six contacts, so that's three pairs. So here's two or one pair of contacts, and I give those every two weeks, except, you know, sometimes they either fall out or they have issues and I have to take them out sooner. So the box lasts about a little over a month, but sometimes it only lasts a month depending on how many times I had to change them. So it does get expensive and I wouldn't like recommend doing it just for fun. I don't know why you'd give your rabbit contacts for fun, but obviously only do it under a veterinarian's like recommendation. So the next medication he is on is Medicam. Medicam is used for pain management. It is actually a medicine used mainly in dogs. However, it is extremely safe in rabbits. It's the like main medicine they use for any sort of pain man management in a rabbit. The reason Mocha gets Medicam is one, for his cornea ulcers. His cornea ulcers do cause him pain even with the contact. So that is one reason he is on it. The other reason is he has arthritis in his front legs. So I don't know if it's his joints or like what joints it is. I just know it's his front legs somewhere he has arthritis. So that helps with inflammation from arthritis. It also helps with pain management with arthritis. So that is why he gets Medicam. Oh, and he gets 0.8 milliliters, which this is a one milliliter syringe. Uh, so he gets 0.8. He used to be on one milliliter and the vet switched him to 0.8 and I really don't know why because a lot of the communication I do with my vet is like over the phone just because I live so far away so I haven't really asked why but he seems to be doing fine. The next medication I'm going to be talking about is not a permanent thing. The contacts and the Medicam he will probably be on for life but this medication is just temporary. So for those of you guys who don't know like a ton about Mocha, you may not know that he had tremors back in October. So pretty much what happened is I walked into my room and he was like shaking uncontrollably. He had lost all, all of his like functions pretty much, but he was still like conscious. So it wasn't a seizure, but it was some sort of tremor episode. And I took him to the vet, we had CT scans done, and I was pretty much told that he would die within two weeks. We thought he had lymphoma cancer, and that can't be identified with like any sort of test. Uh, so they were just like pretty much take him home, keep him happy until he dies. But that was October of 2016 and it is now May of 2017 so we don't know why he had the tremors but I'm really thankful it wasn't cancer because he is still alive with us today so so I think a possibility could be that he has some neurological condition that causes that caused the tremors or something like that so the reason I tell you that is recently I was giving him his Medicam and normally I kind of like hold it up for him to like stand in his hind legs to take it but this time when I did that he like tried his hardest not to stand on his hind legs and he like stretched his neck as far as he could 
and finally he lifted his legs and his head tilted and he just fell over to the side and I was like oh that didn't look good at all and I got like really nervous so I tried to have him do it again and the same thing happened he tried not to stand up and when he did he fell to the side and then a couple days later I noticed that he was like kind of had a little bit of a head tilt and was kind of like hopping crooked he had that same thing right after his tremors he didn't have it where he fell over but he had it where he like kind of hopped crooked and maybe had a slight head tilt so that kind of leads me to believe that this head tilt could potentially be neurological. So because of the head tilt, I took him to the vet and they wanted to potentially test him for E. canicoli. However, he's already been tested to E. canicoli. Um, if you don't know what E. canicoli is, it's pretty much an illness that causes head tilt in bunnies. That's like the main symptom that people associate um, E. canicoli with. But he's already been tested for E. canicoli and the test was sent to Miami, which is the most reliable test for E. canicoli and he didn't have it. So there's no way he could have gotten it. I mean, it's possible Bell could have brought it in, but he's never had contact with Bell, so I just don't think it's possible. And E. canicoli is like an invisible bacteria that just is like always inside of a rabbit and it only shows symptoms if they are sick. So that's why I mentioned that potentially Belle could have brought it in. If she's a carrier of E. canicoli, another rabbit could be transferred E. canicoli through I think like species or I don't know how else they get it. And they only show symptoms if their immune system becomes weak or from old age or something like that. But yeah, I really don't think there's any sort of way it's Belle because he's never had contact with her or anything. So I opted to not have the EC test done at this time because I didn't think that was probably the cause. I definitely think it's probably neurological, has something to do with his previous tremors. But another option that it could be is an inner ear infection. So rabbits with inner ear infections can have some of the same symptoms, whereas they'll have a head tilt, their balance will be off because if you have something wrong with your ears, that messes with your balance. Like even with humans, like if you've ever had your ears cleaned out, sometimes like it makes you really dizzy. Uh, so it's kind of the same thing in rabbits. So if you have, if they have an inner ear infection, it could cause their balance to be off. It could cause them to have head tilt. And the way you treat it is to give them antibiotic and then it corrects itself. So because of that, we got him another medication to treat an inner ear infection. He's had an inner ear infection before, so we're thinking this definitely could be a possibility. So we're just gonna treat him like he has it, and if the symptoms get better, then that's probably the case. If they don't get better, then we'll look into other options. But actually, as of now, I think he is getting better, uh, but I'm not gonna like make any promises because I don't know, but I just feel like he hasn't really had as many issues since starting this treatment. So the treatment is our, these syringes. I don't know if you can really see, the sun is really bright. But these are penicillin injections. So at, underneath this pink cap is a needle and pretty much how you do it is you like kind of like hold their scruff and you inject the penicillin under the skin. So I have been trained by a veterinarian to give injections to my bunnies. Um, I've been shown several times and I've done it s uh, like several, several times myself. So never attempt this unless you've been trained. But I think it's really important for rabbit owners to be trained in giving injections just because honestly during some point of having a rabbit, being able to give an injection is a very, very like, good thing because especially in like GI stasis which is super common almost every rabbit will have it at least once in their life so something you can do for GI stasis is put a needle under the skin and it's like connected to some sort of kind of like an IV system and water goes water and um, sub Q fluids go through it and it just helps them keep them hydrated and stuff so it's really important to like be trained in this if your rabbit has GI stasis because then your vet can send you home with it and you can give them at home which really helps them get better faster. So anyways, <laughs> besides that, the penicillin is what I'm giving him. You guys may have known that penicillin is not safe normally for rabbits. However, it's completely safe if you are doing an injection. Oral 
Penicillin or other illin drugs are not normally safe for bunnies, but for some reason with injections they're completely safe. So don't worry, it's completely safe and it's actually really helpful and it's more beneficial than oral antibiotics. So the next medication Mocha is on is an over-the-counter medicine made for humans and it helps him with dizziness and balance issues. So it pretty much just helps him not be as dizzy. So you know that dizziness could be from a neurological thing, it could be from the head tilt or whatever, it just really helps him. He was on this medication after his tremors as well because like I mentioned he kind of had a head tilt then too. So I don't know if it's the dizziness medication or the penicillin that has helped him but I have noticed a slight difference. So I'm hoping that whatever it is, this clears up and he stops having like head tilt or whatever. So I did want to address a comment that I have seen a lot since Mocha's had this sickness and these tremors and everything, and that is a lot of people comment about his death. They comment about how he's gonna die, uh, he's so sick, and I understand why people are saying it. I know they're just concerned and they kind of just feel like if a bunny is this sick, they're probably gonna pass away. And I understand that from their view, but I also want you guys to know that you guys aren't here. I don't tell you everything that goes on with his health. I don't tell you when he's having good times. I don't really mention it when he's necessarily having bad times. And so those comments just kind of like make me feel a little bit bad just because like I obviously know he could die anytime. Any of my rabbits could die anytime. And I think like people just saying it all the time and saying, oh, he's going to die, he's going to die. I mean, it's not very nice and it's not very comforting at all to hear that. So even if he does pass away soon, you know, it's going to happen eventually. But I just don't want people to like keep saying that because they've been saying that for months and he's still fine. So, but yeah, a lot of people are not saying that. They're actually really nice and really supporting, so thank you all for the majority of you guys who are that way. And I've been playing with this syringe like the whole video, so sorry about that. I hope this video wasn't too long and boring, but I kind of just wanted to go over Mocha's health and what has been going on. So he does have head tilt currently, uh, but he is on contacts, penicillin injections, Medicam, and... Oh yeah, the dizziness medication. I'm not gonna name what the medication is right now. I may have mentioned it in the past, but you know, just like, you should never give a medication to your rabbit without a veterinarian's approval. So just because that medication you can get over the counter, I just don't wanna say it because you should never treat your rabbit with anything without a vet's approval. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys wanna see a video about like how I give uh, all his medications, like how I give his Medicam, how I give his contacts, and his penicillin injections. Uh, I could maybe do that for you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon on a new video. Bye!